Street Track. Where are the games? Where are the games? What? What is this? Hello? Hey! Oh my god, hi! How are you? I am so great today. I just look fabulous as usual. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on this new NutriFast system where I just drink lemonade and ginger, and I've lost like 10 pounds. <laughs> oh my god, you have to let me borrow it. No. I have a good idea. Let's go shopping. Oh my god, you're like a freaking genius. Okay. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's uh, Cody from CMC Tech Gaming. Uh, so, before I start showing you my collection, I just want to let you know, um, this is me not bragging by any means. Um, this is just me collecting and, you know, being proud of what I have. And, um, you know, if you're a collector, you can totally understand what I'm talking about. Um, hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Cody from CMC Tech Gaming here. Um, I'm here with my buddy, uh, C Red. Um, I'm gonna show you a bunch of uh, stuff that I've recently collected. Some I've picked up, some I've got online. Um, to start off, this is a Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, soundtrack edition. This was, I'm pretty sure this was an exclusive at Best Buy, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Next one up is uh, Snowboard Kids 2. I got this at a pawn shop. I wanna see if my camera will uh, focus, and there you go. Uh, the front's nearly mint. The backside, unfortunately, is kind of... It's it's just dirty. I still have to clean this up. And yeah, I still have the price tag on it, which I will be removing. Um, next up is... This was online with a standee that I had got. Um, which I will show you right after I show you this stuff. If you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Halo fan. Um, this is Halo Combat Evolved. This is the uh, Not For Resale Edition. Um... And next up is one of my rare games, which if you've seen any of my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. This is Amazing Tater. It's a game made by Atlas. Um, this game had not sold a lot or just didn't have a lot of advertising. Um, next up was another Game Boy game. I actually got it for uh, $3. Um... I talked him. I talked the uh, pawn shop owner down a little bit. If my camera would like to focus, thank you. Yep, this game's called Marauder. There's actually two versions of this game. Um, this is the expensive version. This is the one on eBay. Nobody, nobody knows about this. I'm gonna let you in on a little tip here. Um, this version of Marauder is actually thirty or forty dollars. There's the gray version, and then there's this uh, clearish kind of version. Yeah, if you ever see one of these, uh, pick it up for sure. Uh, especially for a great price like I got mine. Uh, next up is actually like a holy grail for, if you haven't seen any of my other videos. Um, this game is known as BAMPS. And uh, it was sold in the Nordic region uh, exclusively there. And uh, my camera will focus again. Sorry about that. So it's a new camera. I'm trying to figure things out. Um, but yeah, this new game is called BAMPS. And uh, that game, not many people know about it. Hold on. Yeah, I have an anno Yeah, I have a bird. <laughs> That's what that is, in case anyone wondering. Um, next up is a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, this game's called Rad, and it's made by Enix, which is now known as Square Enix because it came together with uh, Square Soft. But um, yeah, I think this is more of a hidden gem on the PS2. I never hear anybody ever talking about this game. Uh, this game goes on eBay for about 50 bucks. So if you ever see Rad, um, like I said, it's a hidden gem. Pick this game up for sure. Um, speaking of Square Enix, uh, I got Final Fantasy X. I believe I got this at a Goodwill. Goodwill selling Final Fantasy. Um, next up is another PS2 game. It's called Dr. Muto. Um, I'm not sure um, how many people know about this game. I'm not sure if it's a common game or not. 
I've never heard of it. But uh, next up is kind of another uh, Holy Grail. Um, Holy Grail. I'm not sure if any of you know what that means, but uh, Holy Grail, in case you don't collect, um, it's kind of like it's kind of hard, really, really hard to come by. Um, and this is actually a. Uh, it's called uh, Tail Concerto. And this is the demo version of the PS2 game, and it's a not for resale edition. If you can see down there in that corner, um, basically to get this, um, I was talking to a seller, and he said he used to work for uh, some boutique, and um, he was at a convention, and he he was a manager at this boutique, and uh, he was at a convention, and some of the the people from the actually the company Atlas were at that convention. And um, they were they were just now releasing this game, and so they were handing out demo CDs to all the managers. And yeah, like I said, still sealed, um, in mint condition. Um, next up, my brother actually got me this. It's the uh, it's the uh, Halo Xbox controller. Like I said, I'm a huge Halo fan. Um, this thing is beautiful. Um, I've used it a couple times. So yeah, it's it's not sealed, but um, she's beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, the next thing I'm about to show you is uh, come on, C Red, come with me. My dad, he he got me a bunch of free books. And he he knows I love to collect books. So yeah, what you're about to see is like like freaking awesome. So all right, so right here, uh, like I was saying. Um, there's a bunch of books that uh, my dad got me. He knows I collect. And these are all these are all sealed. Um, I got Halo Five strategy book. Another a second one. Uh, actually, uh, my bad. They're not all sealed. I forgot about these Call of Duty books right here. Which there are two of these unsealed. And next up is uh, Tomb Raider. That's sealed. Tomb Raider, sealed. I'm gonna be uh, giving away some of these as gifts, probably. So if you're like, why do you have three of these? Yeah, I don't plan to keep all of them. Next up is a. Uh, actually, just show you this one right here. This is sealed. Um, it's Final Fantasy uh, seven, eight, and nine. This is like an artish kind of book. Um, this is sealed, and. Um, yeah, these things are quite pricey. If my camera would like to focus right now. Yeah, these things sell for about $129, $149. Uh, depending what country you're from. Um, like I said, I actually have three of these. And yeah. Uh, here's the Halo Reach standee that I was talking about uh, from the beginning of the video. Um, this was an exclusive game item that was in, sold in a game store. I'm not sure what specific store it was in, but um, it was back in 2010 when the game was first initially released. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, here is that a standee I was talking about at the beginning of uh, the other... <laughs> <laughs>